or please message message to me or It is me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am doing the Back From Book Net Fest tag that Injiri from Onyx Pages created, which was inspired by the Book Net Fest tag that Kathy Tritt Hart created as well for like before Book Net Fest. Um, and I will link both those channels down below so you guys can see what I am talking about if you don't know. If you don't know, Book Net Fest is a basically a uh, an event that happens in September. Mostly, it was created so that creators like blogger, book bloggers, booktubers, book Instagrammers could all come together and basically just be a community together and go to panels and just learn how to be how to uh, better your content and how to like better the community and stuff like that and it's super fun and I loved it. It was my first year going this year and I I really hope I can go next year because it honestly was probably one of my favorite memories of this year so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these questions and then answer them and yeah. So first question is explain your BNF experience in one word. So I think my word would probably be inspirational because I feel like I was really surrounded by a lot of people that I was kind of inspired by and it kind of sparked my creativity and just made me feel like I wanted to get better at like make my content better and better and just grow and I was so glad that I was able to be in that like feeling in the, in that environment because it just I don't know, it made me feel like I could grow even more and like that I want to grow even more. Number two is what was your favorite session and why? Um, so I didn't really go to a lot of the sessions, but my favorite I think was the small platform, big platform panel, which held like small to big book creators in regards to like numbers and each got to talk about kind of like the highs and lows of being a small platform or a big platform and the experiences they've had in between while they grow and stuff like that and it was just really interesting hearing from like all perspectives and hearing like what it meant to grow to them and the thing like how it changed their like content too. Another thing I loved about that panel was that India from Life as a page turner was on it and she made a lot of good points at just about being a marginalized creator and how unlikely it is that people will subscribe to them and she pointed out that we're so set on like making sure there are diverse authors and diverse books and stuff like that that we aren't willing to give diverse creators a chance and I thought it was very interesting to hear this conversation take place and I, I honestly love that she opened it up to that and just was so open in discussing it as well. Um, by the way, I am looking at my computer for these questions, which is why I'm looking down. Sorry in advance. Okay, number three is what's the most interesting thing you learned? Um, I think one thing that I learned, especially within the small platform, big platform uh, panel, is just that like, you can't always just stick to one perspective on things like hearing from the small small platforms and the big platforms there were like you it reminded me that like there is a different perspective to things so like a good thing about being a small creator is that we have more freedom to do what we want in regards to posts or videos or whatever like we have more freedom to do whatever we want and be creative um whereas the downside is that like we are small and so growth can be slow uh opportunities aren't as vast for us in regards to just like publishers and books and stuff like that but another thing that I realized was like there were pros and cons about being a big creator as well hence um, the person who's speaking from a big platform said like a con is that they are kind of stifled in the things that they can do as a big creator because maybe there was like one type of video that everybody loves from them and so a lot of people only want to see that one type of video so it's harder for them to be able to create new content 
because people are so swift to just stick to the old stuff which I felt like it was interesting to learn that because you never really think about that from a bigger perspective as I'm not a bigger channel so that it wasn't something I would know but it was interesting to uh, just hear from that and then like their pros of course they're bigger so they have more opportunities in regards to publishing and stuff like that as well um so it was like interesting learning just the different perspectives and like realizing that like you can't just have one mindset in regards to like big channel small channel big platform small platform like they're just gonna be there's always gonna be another perspective in in regards to the book community and so just to always stay open-minded in that aspect if that makes sense okay number four is were there any conversations that you had at BNF that you think we should keep talking about as a community for the rest of the year? Um, I mean, yes. I, I think just diversity, honestly. Just making sure that we are including everybody, that we are being respectful of everybody's pronouns, of of who they are, of who they want us to acknowledge them as. We just need to continue to have those conversations and continue to make sure that we are doing that and we are we're doing good with it. And yeah, that's all I got. Number five is, what was your most memorable moment? I think one of my most memorable is, uh, I celebrated my two year booktube anniversary, birthday, whatever, um, that weekend and Teresa went out and got me balloons and cupcakes and then told everybody to meet us in a certain spot in a hotel and everybody sung me happy birthday and it was pretty awesome. It just like reminded me that like, I have book friends and they care and it was just nice being in that moment. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, I think another fun memory is prom. Just prom was just a, really good. It was tiring, and I was like dead by the time I got back to my room. But it was still really fun, and I love just being in a room where we could all just like dance and hang out and be book nerds together. Number six is in what way does BookNet best add value to the bookish community? So I like in my opinion, it's it's the best place to go for community. Like, yes, you have BookCon, and you have Y'all Fest, and you have Y'all West, but those aren't for community, if you really think about it. Those are for books, like, signings. Those are for authors. Those are for ARCs. Those are for, like, the book community to be able to get the things that they need in order to, like, continue on in their platform. So, ARCs. Again, author signings. Um whatever else you can get at those things publisher connections whatever like those are what they're for and that's okay like that that that's what they're for it's just like you get, you're gonna have a hard time being able to like be a part of the of a community in that aspect like yes you can go out afterwards but afterwards people are tired they don't want to stay out super late they don't want to like be around people as often since they spent literally the whole day around people so it's just hard to maintain community in that aspect but book fest is like just a place to be community. There's no books, there's no, like, there's a small author signing, maybe two authors. Uh, there are books there, but they're not ARCs, so you're not, like, mobbing people to get in line and stuff like that. And it's just one, like, book, uh, trade, and that's it. Uh, and so the whole weekend, you're literally just hanging out with people and going to panels. So, you have all weekend to hang out with friends, do whatever you want, and you don't even have to go to panels. You don't have to go to all the panels if you don't want to. You can just chill out in the lobby with friends, which is sometimes what I did. And I think that's just what it, like that's the value that it adds, is that it's the one the one event that we have as a book community to be able to get together and just like relax and hang out and do whatever we want. And not have to like be in line for this specific arc at a specific time or be in line for this specific author signing at a specific time. Like we don't have to run around with our heads cut off trying to get in line for things. It's just chill and friends, <laughs> basically. Number seven is show us your swag, book swap, treasure, or something great you got from a bit. So I managed to get three books from Bugnafest. One of them is from Brody, from Ed to Brody. They were getting rid of some books and they asked on Twitter if anybody wanted to claim one and I said yes. And so they were gracious enough to give me Starfish by Kemi Don Bowman. The next two books were from the book swap and I managed to get an arc of the Teen Titans Raven graphic novel by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. I didn't realize this was an arc until I grabbed it. I just thought it was just the normal graphic novel, so I was like, yay, excitement, because I can I've wanted to read this for a minute, but I just haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. So I saw this and I was like, yes, I want it. And I'm like really grateful because I love Teen Titans and I'm excited to I honestly want to get all the books in this series when they come out because I feel like they're gonna be really cool in artwork because I love Gabriel Piccolo's like art style as well on Instagram if you go look him up you'll find them there but I also just again love Teen Titans so 
excited to read this and see how I feel about it. All right, and the last book that I got at the bookstop was Listen to Your Hark by Casey West. This is an arc. There were surprisingly a lot of arcs at the uh, book swap, which they were like older arcs and there were like maybe a few new ones, but it was just really funny the amount that there were uh, in the pile. But I managed to get this. Um, my goal now is to read through all of Casey West's books because like, I saw Chanel from Chanel Time do it. And so I was like, I want to do it because uh, I read P.S. I Like You and I really liked that so I was like I definitely want to try some of her other books. Casey West, Jen Bennett, and Emma Mills are the three contemporary authors that I want to try and get into within the next year or so or next year whatever just because people rave about them and I love Morgan Manson and I love Sarah Dessen and I like have basically almost read all of their books so I want to try and find some new contemporary queens that I can love too but that is my goal with this. Uh, Amber managed to grab one too from Amber Interface, so I think we're gonna buddy you this next month as well. Number eight, shout out a few content creators who inspired you at BNF. Brody from Ed2 Brody, I love them so much. They were so sweet and I enjoyed their outfits all weekend because they were just on point. And then they also uh, created the Booknet Fest wall for us. They are a trendsetter, so I definitely adore them and I'm so glad I got to meet them and hang out with them. Um, Jesse from Bowties and Books, I always love seeing them and I was so glad that we got to hang out more and just like talk more, so always love seeing them. And Kat, Chloe, Desiree, like I love seeing them as well. Kate from Chapter Kate is always my favorite as well. Yeah, I just, there were just so many people that I was able to really like talk to and connect with that weekend, so I'm just like always grateful for that. And they all inspire me to like want to continue doing this and want to continue to make videos and make my videos better so I love it. Number nine is if you plan to come back next year is there anything you'd want to change? I do not think so and I say this because it was my first year so I don't necessarily have anything I think I, wa I would want to change but I want to do this again like do this tag again next year after I go and then actually have something to compare it to if that makes sense like so that way I have a like I could compare like next year with this year this past year and be like okay this is what we need to change kind of thing or something like that so I don't necessarily have anything I won't need to change I'd want to change now um, but I will come back to this question next year and like give a thorough like answer hopefully Number 10 is please share your prom portrait or any other photos, videos of yourself having fun at BNF. <laughs> so, in fact, my pictures, <laughs> a lot of the pictures that I've taken with people are on other people's phones or cameras and I don't have them. So, <laughs> if we took a picture together, please message them to me on Twitter so that way I could have them and share them too. If not, that's okay too. I don't mind. Um, but the few pictures I managed to take, I might put into a slideshow after this. I have no idea. Um, but I also have these photo booth photos that I took with uh, Jesse, Brody, and Teresa. So I'll show you guys these. So this is the one with me and Teresa. And then another one with me and Teresa, us being goofy. And then I have this prom portrait that we all took together, which was super cute and fun. So that is magical. And those are all the questions for the Booknet Fest tag. If you all like the video, go ahead and like down below. If you have any comments or questions about Booknet Fest or anything like that, please comment them down below. If you're not gonna comment, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below, stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you all want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Thank you.